Everything that we've been through, everything that she's going through, I can't believe that your solution is always to kill the offending party. All right, listen to me. Our daughter is acting out. She's vulnerable, right? Johnny Zakara could take advantage of that and sleep with her. And if he does that, all I'm saying to you is he has to be stopped. I know what you're saying. Just like you tried to stop Ethan because that worked out really well. She was well, so afraid that she lied about who actually abused her. For God's sake, you kill him, you're going to destroy your kid. Okay, what's your solution? You want to just look the other way while Johnny has sex with Christina? <sighs> God. You, on your feet. Glass down. What in the hell is wrong with you? You are a kid, and this is a grown man. You can't be sprawled out all over a sofa guzzling wine. And you. I don't even know what to say to you. Let me... My dad sent you, right? You're damn straight he did. Your dad is sick with worry, and obviously he's got real good reason. What in the hell is wrong with you? I'm a mother. Okay, so when I walk into a situation that looks like this, right here, all my bells and whistles go off, all right? And I don't pull any punches, so you better get yourself ready to hear some things that you don't want to hear, and you're going to stand there, and you're going to listen to me, and you're not going to open your mouth. Are we clear? Good. Christina, no one would deny that you have been through a terrible, terrible ordeal. Okay, but you are still so much luckier than most kids. You got two parents who love you, who want to help you, and that includes your father. Okay, they've got the resources to help you get the help you need to make yourself whole. And instead of taking some time to work on your issues, to maybe show a little bit of gratitude, all you're doing is acting out. All right, I get it, I get it. On some level, that might be psychologically appropriate. You're a teenage girl, but you better check your behavior, honey. Are you going to wind up in the middle of a whole world of hurt you got no idea how to get out of? Okay, again, Johnny is not a safe haven for you. He's another way for you to get used and hurt. Do not make the mistake of underestimating his single-mindedness when it comes to hurting your father. That's all he thinks about now. It's how he defines himself. It's all he cares about. And right now, all you are is a means to that end. Hey, you think I could borrow, um... You know what, never mind. I'm gonna come back. Do me a favor and take Christina home, huh? Yes, please. Yeah, no problem. Good luck. <sighs> Alone at last. You want to tell me what the hell was just going on in here? Well, you seem to have a pretty good handle on it yourself, so why don't you tell me? Sonny called me over after he ran into you and Christina on Baker Street. He said he saw the two of you together. You were all over each other and that you were obviously sleeping together. And naturally you believe Sonny. I know. Naturally, I made a fool of myself defending you. And I told him that you would never put a hand on Christina. But he saw you, John. At least that's what he said. So if, you, if Sonny's lying, you better tell me right now. It's true. Christine and I were together. Sonny walked up and threw a fit. Ordered me to stay away from his daughter and I told him that in the state of New York, she's a legal age and I can do whatever the hell I want. So, uh, there's really nothing going on between you and Johnny? Absolutely not. It's just an act to get back at my dad. To what end? To torture him. Look, I can see how it might feel empowering to get back at your father. All right? But I don't think you realize how serious this is going to get. Sonny's crazy, okay? He was ready to kill me when he thought I'd beat you. And Johnny taking you to bed, that's... For a man like Sonny, that's almost worse. You know, I can guarantee this Sonny will come after Johnny. And Johnny will relish the opportunity to flip it and kill your father. 
I mean, is that really what you want? Our daughter is making very bad choices. So it is my responsibility as her mother to point this out to her, to explain to her that her acting out is going to make things much worse. Sounds like a lot of psycho babble to me. It's very simple. Christina was beaten by Kiefer, thanks to Johnny's lies about me abusing Claudia. She equates me with the guy who beat her, and since the guy who beat her is dead, she can't punish him, she's gonna punish me. And you know what? Johnny is right there to take advantage of her. That's not good. Let's just agree to disagree. Okay. I need to prevail here. So you keep your hands and your thug's hands to yourself. Okay, wait a minute, don't leave. What? I will, I will do it. I will, I will, you know, let you take care of this travesty. But I tell you what, if, if you don't do it, Johnny, this grown man, has sex with my daughter. I will take the appropriate action. How freaking selfish are you? Or has this obsession with Sonny just finally... just warped you beyond all recognition? Have you... Have you given one second of thought to the hell that Christina is going through, John? She's confused. She's an emotionally traumatized, physically battered kid who's lashing out blindly at her father, who she mistakenly believes is no better than the abusive pig that has been beating the crap out of her. Sonny is an abusive pig. He's no different than Kiefer, except for the fact that he's older, which means he's less apt to change. Okay, you see, you see what you're saying? This is where your perspective is so skewed. All right, I know how badly Sonny treated your sister. Okay, but you know what? She was a grown woman. And she signed up for the honor. And you know what else? Forgive me for saying this, John, but your sister was a miserable bitch, all right? Who lied like the rest of us breathe, but only to save her own ass. She tried to get Sonny killed. She got his kid shot in the head instead. She tried to blackmail my son into making a baby with her because she knew it was the closest she could ever get okay, to having you know a baby what? with Sonny. Since when did this become a litany of my sister's sins, huh? I admit it. My sister was a terrible human being, scum of the earth, but she was still my sister, damn it! And Sonny is still the same son of a bitch who tortured her! And that son of a bitch is still gonna pay! If it means using a 17-year-old abuse victim to do it? Damn you. Just say something! You tell me that I'm wrong! You tell me that's not what I saw when I walked through this door! You tell me that you're not ruining everything we've had over this sick obsession you've got with Sonny. I got nothing more to say. You believe what you want. Or I guess more appropriately what Sonny wants you to believe. Okay. Well, that's a choice. And it's sad, John. It is. Because you're not the thing that you set out to destroy. You're something worse. <laughs> <laughs>